Hey guys, welcome to my third auto coding tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna I'm not gonna show you any coding, but I'm gonna show you a quick introduction to a program called Coda. And this program was made by Autowit developers, and um, it allows you to make GUIs or graphic user interfaces a lot easier and faster. And uh, I'll link you to download the link in the description. But um, yeah, a lot, it looks confusing, so I just want to make sure I cover it real fast because um, in case any of my later tutorials include making GUIs, um, I want to just show you. Like, I just want to make sure it's just really useful, and I want to have have everyone understand how to use it. Basically, when you open up, you'll have your form, and it's just your uh, first GUI. You'll be able to uh, make news or uh, make new ones or delete them over here. Up here is where you're going to deal with like um, different objects you can add to your GUI. The standard is like um, um, a menu, which is a menu kind of like this, a menu. And then uh, input box, edit box, kind of like that. Um, it's, I mean, it's kind of, use, it's really user friendly and you could probably figure it out. But, I mean, in case anyone looks completely confused when they see this, I'm just going to help you out um in additional they have like pictures where you can if you put the picture over here there's it's going to show you the information about the object um if it's enabled disabled you can change that um the height a hint which if on hover it will show you like you see it says pick one that's the hint you can edit that uh the left the name of it or the variable um, what happens if you click it? A picture. So th this is a picture object. So you'll click that little button, and you'll allow it. It will allow you to open um, open the image file and load it up so that it fits into that um, image object. Get that out of here. Um, it's so essentially everything you need to that deals with the object will be over here in this object inspector. They even got a tab control. Uh, a com object, but I don't really use com objects. Um, a status bar, you add one down here, and then you'll be able to, in the collection for the panels, you just add one. With that button, you add it. Uh, status part one, it's pretty simple to use. Set the width, add another one. Part two, I mean, you see it right there. So yeah, and then you just delete them if you want. Or delete the object. So, um, just a quick video. Uh, let me see what else I can show. Oh yeah. Um, here I'll try to make a quick GUI example. Make it small. Have a. Shit, where's the groups? Right here. Group box. Just keep it group one. You can edit what it says like in the caption right over here. Um, you can even set the font. Pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna add a quick input box. Hello. And then a quick, or that was a label, excuse me, label. And an input box right there. Change the name and put one if you want, but I'm just going to make it simple. And maybe a button. The cool thing about this is um, if you saw my other tutorials on my other channel, I had this other program. And with that, you were limited to maybe a button, an input box, and a label. Um, with this one, there's you, they have the whole entire like uh, object list. Up here, check boxes, radio boxes, list box, combo box, um, trees, date picker, month calendar, progress bars, all that good stuff. Um, but the um, also it will allow you to generate the form code up here. You go to tools and generate form code. You you could also run it to see what it looks like without the grid kind of outline. And you see it right here. And then you can um, navigate through the objects list up here. This is the GUI, then it goes down the group, and then what's inside the group, the label, edit the label, input, and it's, you could even edit the height, or the width and height just by dragging, and etc. It's pretty cool. But I just want to get that quickly um, over with for anyone who's confused with it. And if you don't know about it, here's a chance to see what it looks like. It's extremely useful. I use it like all the time, that's why it's even pinned to my uh, taskbar. But yeah, it just it will if you generate the form code, I'll show you the code. You could just copy, or copy to clipboard, and then open a new file and auto it, and go ahead and paste it. It even includes uh, the majority of the GUI uh, 
UDFs that you need. Sometimes it forgets maybe like if you make if you're gonna have an uh, IE embedded inside, you'll just need to add include IE A3, no big deal. But it gets the just of it done. I mean, it's like I said, extremely useful. Um, but yeah, it's, all it is is just a GUI maker, but extremely good one. So. Yep, that concludes my uh, third tutorial. I just wanted to int uh, introduce everyone to Coda, if you haven't already known about it. Um, also, I finished my site. I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. Autowitnerds.info. Got a quick domain for it. Um, you can go and see my latest tutorial here. And I've only gotten a few on this channel, but there should be more soon. Um you can see about you don't really need to see but uh you can see the list of my tutorials on here and also you can re there's a request feature so if you want a tutorial made by me just go ahead and request it fill out your uh, name just first name is fine you email so I can reply back um, and what the request is so if you want to request something that deals with timers just say timers please or something just timers and just fill in the captions so no spamming occurs. I hate spammers. But yeah, so um, because I don't know what everyone wants to see in my tutorial, so this will help me make them and get them done a lot quicker because I know what people want to see. So uh, yeah, just go ahead. There's a link in the description to my site. So um, and my next tutorial, I have to think about what I'm going to do. Something again that's pretty basic in general for most projects. So. Um, well, I hope you didn't uh, like this quick introduction to Coda.